question from a graduate, Nancy, uh, about birth control pills, actually. She said since attending... She's messing around. Is Nancy messing around out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, she says she's 46, and she took them for 20 years. But after, you know, when she came and did the program, she stopped, mm -hmm. you know, got got a period, you know, like that week, but then uh, hasn't had one since, and now she's being plagued with chills and hot flashes. Doesn't really want to go back to her doctor because he's the one that told her she could take it, you know, continue taking them right through menopause. Right. So well, she, rem I guess remember, the is what could remember that why Nancy or any other woman would have chills and hot flashes after coming off a pharmaceutical drug that they've been on for 26 years or 10 years or 5 years is a pretty good answer, an easy one for everyone to understand, that your body was synthetically placed in an abnormal state of hormonal chemistry. And now it's trying to regulate itself. Biologically, the poor body saying, oh, my God, I don't know what to do anymore. So the hormones are going up, the hormones are going down, and it just veiled the very, very, very light, if even visible, symptomology that would have happened if Nancy or other women never took birth control pills. But we do know there's a direct link to the breaking of capillaries within the body, liver cancer, and a whole array of other problems, including what we're now talking about. So what may want, may, Nancy and others may want to do is find a very well-experienced bioidentical hormone physician and let them help Nancy slowly back her way out of this period of her life and after Nancy goes through menopause, and that's what she's experiencing right now, uh, she'll no longer need to take that uh, unless she chose to. Uh, menopause is a traumatic time for, for any woman I've ever talked to, other than long-term living food women who have very few symptoms and very, 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 very few mood swings. But the rest of them, the other 90% of women I talked to who have had this, uh, literally experience similar things. There's very few women in our cultures around the world that do not take birth control pills. Why? Because you ladies have been taught to be subservient to men. Nobody ever says to the man, get a prophylactic on. Put the damn rubber on before you. Oh, well, I don't feel as good doing that, so you just get on the birth control pill. Let me have my fun. And women sit there and, and take that. I mean, I think it's time, especially the young ladies that are out there listening today, that we start to give some equal responsibility to people. First, I'm a major fan of intimate and committed relationships. If sexuality is not part of your life, you're not having a full and happy and a whole life. If you're not having an intimate relationship with those you are committed to and love, something's seriously wrong there. And you're not being fulfilled. And your level of health, no matter what you eat, and no matter what else you do, exercise, etc., will never flourish without that intimacy. So, yes, we should have romantic in encounters with those we're com com committed to. But on the other hand, uh, we shouldn't have to just say women have to be responsible for not making babies if that's what it is. It should be men. And uh, the old standard is still the best standard. You know, IUDs where they were scraping the uterus of a woman, not a good idea. A lot of these women show up here with cancer. And uh, that's in, in the medical literature. It's not just uh, what happens here. We also know that... Uh, it's hard emotionally for women to get beyond that. Now, the rhythm system, which is what our great-grandparents and great-great-great-grandparents used to use, really has a lot going for it. You know, uh, When they did some studies on this in Europe not so many years ago, they found that people who really understood when they ovulated it and, and watched the rhythm system had only a 4% higher incidence of pregnancy than people did when they were taking birth controls or prophylactics. Birth, birth controls and prophylactics, by the way, uh, rubbers as you call them, literally have still a 3% faulty rate. So 3% of the people that are experiencing one of those preventions literally are still having babies. I had a woman in my office the other day that literally was on birth control pills for 10 years, and she had a baby. And she kept having menstruation going right through it. Why? When I looked at her, her uh, accounts and our medical team looked at it, well, basically, we could see it. She was hormonally like uh, having the hormones of three women. And so no matter what she did to suppress it, it was a problem. So this is a big, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I gave a large answer, but this is sort of I get on my soapbox for women and the way we perceive women and how women should perceive themselves and what our responsibility is and about sexuality. And Nancy, stay off the pill. 
find a way to, to make a smooth landing, and that's easy to do under the good care of a long-term experienced bioidentical hormone doctor.